Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, holy kingdom of the heart of the Royal Lion Nation. Happy Mary Magdalene feast day on the 7227 portal day. As the divine feminine mother goddess has risen to meet the Lord of hosts in the heavenly realms as the Christo Sophia consciousness is activated within every living heart of our ground crew earth angelics of the 144. To assist our feline Lyra nation of New Lemuria, our sun moves today into the zodiac sign of Leo the Lion as we begin to build momentum for this most powerful Lion's Gate on 8-8 portal of August 8th. The heart of the Lion blazes the threefold flame for our divine dispensations in the light. Our local Solaris continues to release multiple C-class solar flares today and another powerful M-class flare maxing at M3.19 at 337 UTC. Encoded with our 37 into the 73 codes of Earth Ascension into Heaven. As our sacred earth shamans walk in between worlds, we have one foot on each shore of this side and the other side as rainbow bridges connecting heaven and earth. We also had higher resonance appearing on the Schumann charts today at amplitudes of 15 hertz and 32 hertz, fifth dimensional energetics anchoring in. Our rainbow tribe of our sacred nation of light has risen, and we reclaim all that has been stolen from our good people of the new earth. The eagle and the condor are holding and transmitting the holy codes of divine union with both source and our sacred counterparts. The holy grail divine union both within and without is anchoring the highest love and light for our 144,000 starseed earth angelics of the new Eden. Together as a united force of conscious co-creators, we usher in this new era of peace and prosperity for all sentient beings of the way. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree to our beloved Mary Magdalene. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 28 degrees, 17 minutes Virgo. The sun is at 0 degrees, 2 minutes Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 1 degree Leo. Under emotional stress, blood rushes to a man's head. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 29 degrees Virgo. A man gaining secret knowledge from an ancient scroll he is reading. From astrologyweekly.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron. What you are experiencing in this moment is what you once dreamt of. New timeline. Magi Grail line, Rose line grids are fully activated. Union codes. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Something is shifting permanently and will never be the same. The crack is where the light of rebirth gets in, trust. July has been an intense and deep phase of healing for many. More truths, shadows within and without were revealed. This Leo season will unfold differently with a focus on personal power, movement, acceleration, manifestation, and inner confidence. Now all this has been cleansed and freed from your energy, you are about to shine brighter than ever before. Trust. It's about to be your time. From SophieGregoire.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Costello, 144, coming in. The human heart is the resonant chamber of eternal truth. We are here now. 
My son confirmed that the angels are with us, gathering in momentum as they prepare to step into the spaces our love has afforded them. He was told they will be here in September in time for the electricity. The angels have been brought into the golden timeline, and they guard our hearts like the sacred vessels of truth that they are. Each of our hearts holds the memory of eternal love. This love will be the color of our world. The heart is being brought into the golden age. In this it will be crystal clear and return to its highest form, a sacred chamber to receive and emanate eternal truth through the pure power of undistorted love. It is time to prepare our hearts for the angels. This will be felt. Incredible truth, light restoration taking place. Capstone removed, infinite light. Heavenly reconnection, roots outstretched. False swords being returned to source. Jezebel's spider mind web has been returned to source. All imposing false light programs being seen in the light of love. And the secondary energies they gave life to. To remember those who have been targeted the most, hold the most capacity for this restored truth light. Returning, the truth light you were born with, it is held in your heart and eyes. Open both, false light is wielded, truth light is expressed easily from the channel of your family, who passed this light to you. It is safe now to shine one's own truth light beautiful moment. Thank you, Archangel Mikael. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Elizabeth Landvari. A new energy is being generated with the help of the galaxy, which will be released by the sun. This will affect even sleeping people. We gotta trust that things will work out. If you just stop a few moments each day and take time to see with your heart, you will definitely see signs. 7-Eleven pulsing in. What predicts that what you have been waiting for is now coming? If someone is able to see the world and the events unfolding in it, they are able to understand why things happened the way they did. And from Divine Sister of the Light Celia Fenn, Sun into Leo, the increase of infusions of solar fire energy and changing your personal energy flows. As the sun moves towards Leo and the Lion's Gate, there is an increase in the solar fire energy coming into the planet. In ancient Egypt, the Syrian star teachers taught that this grand opening of the Lion's Gate portal signified the beginning of a new solar cycle for the Earth, or the planetary new year. At this time in Egypt, as the star Sirius rises in the sky, conjunct the sun at dawn, the Nile also rises and floods the land in preparation for another cycle of abundance and grace. Using the principle of as above so below, the galactic river, the Milky Way, also floods with divine blessings and abundance. We are feeling this influx of fire plasma energy as increased heat and intensity. The solar fire lions are here to help us to mitigate the effects of the extreme fire energy. If you need help, ask them to work with you. It is their mission on earth to modulate the fiery discharges from the sun. Also remember to walk the path of simple grace and divine love. Stay centered in your heart and in unconditional love. Be at peace. Allow the chaos to swirl around you as you stay in your center of divine love and harmony. In these fiery days, you are also learning to slow your own energy frequency. The higher your frequency, the slower you will vibrate in the physical realm. So you may find yourself needing to just spend time in peace and doing nothing, as you recalibrate and shift to a higher personal frequency in preparation for the new cycle that is coming in. From CeliaFen.com and today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Amera Atlantis. Atlantis rising in July 22nd. The opening of the Lion's Gate, the feast day of Mary Magdalene, and the rewriting of the spirals of time. 
We have entered my favorite season of the astrological year, the opening of the Lion's Gate portal. Today the sun is on the edge of Cancer coming into Leo. As it rises, the star Sirius in Orion's belt will prepare to align with the pyramids of Giza, bringing us to the 8-8 and the Lion's Gate portal. The shift in energy from water to fire will feel palpable as the dog days of summer, aptly named for the dog star Sirius in this time of year, infuse us with the fiery passions of new light codes and intense upgrades. In this window that culminates on 8-8, the official Lion's Gate, we may feel like we are receiving super blasts from the cosmos. Intense. Remember, intense need not be a bad thing. It is in the heat and pressure that diamonds are created. And as the diamond rays stream down from the galactic center to fill our energy fields with new geometries, they purge the versions of us that are unable to integrate the gifts of increasing our mana, our life force, in better alignment with the movement of Gaia. July 22nd is also the feast day of the feminine Christ, Mary Magdalene. As the lion traditionally represents the archetype of the Christ, it is no coincidence that the entering of the divine feminine archetype of Mary Magdalene occurs at the onset of the sign of Leo. Mary Magdalene and her fiery red hair, crimson robes, and passionate nature celebrates our desire to find union and communion as above so below in the infinity symbol or double eights on august 8th earth to the stars anchored into our sacred soul chakra creating a vortex of light between our solar plexus and heart the vesica pisces the holy trinity of living geometry is within each of us atlantis is rising it is on this sacred land that I rewrite the spirals of time known as Atlantis. The Atlanteans that fled when the destruction came went mainly to Egypt, taking with them their knowledge, technology, and spiritual practices. Atlantis fell in part because of the distortions of the great gifts, talents, psychic abilities, and scientific discoveries made during the final era. There is much abuse of creatures considered lesser, and the sanctity of life in general was not held sacred. Many spiritual laws were broken and abused. The experiment of Atlantis ended so that a new cycle could begin again. As this spiral of 2023 and beyond continues to expose the shadows, distortions, and crimes to life of Earth, we are re-experiencing the finale of Atlantis, with the goal of course correcting a different outcome. Our creator has allowed us as a species the free will to operate from a very low vibrational space. However, as a collective, we have chosen to open up to recreating through divine will and a soul-led existence in an opportunity we call ascension. In order to help this happen, there will continue to be the exposure of free will crimes and all that does not align with the Atlantean law of one. We must be very brave, very strong, and most of all remember that we are eternal beings having an experience in an environment that is highly mutable. Choice will be everything, choice and perspective, and of course love. I will continue to walk the spirals and assist in the rewriting of our collective history in the time, no time simulation known as planet Earth. Embrace change. We came here to witness and contribute to our own healing. Oceans of Aloha. Amer Atlantis, star of the sea, from AmerAtlantis.com. 1414 of the 55 portal of the 73 coming in and today from divine sister of the light linda lee dear family of love and light per gaia's request the divine is carrying out a special divine intervention to clear the residuals of the old energies the divine says that there are some areas where the old energies are active and impacting the energies of the planet and humanity 
Gaia has asked the divine to clear these areas and energies so that the overall energies will be smoother for the planetary ascension. The divine honors Gaia's request and now is carrying out a special operation to clear the old energies in these areas. The divine asks light workers to keep the spirit high and know that the divine plan is working and the divine is in control. Gaia is ascending and so is the planet and humanity. The Divine and the Company of Heaven are doing whatever it takes to make sure that Gaia's ascension is smooth. And the Divine Plan moves forward as designed. All is well indeed. Thank you for your dedication and great work. Divine love for you always. Linda Lee, Gaia, the Divine, and the Company of Heaven. So it is. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Meg Benedict. From the annals of time, an ancient human prototype was seated from the stars. The angelic guardians with the twelve root races of the galaxies created a human morphic field of vibrant consciousness. The new golden race was birthed in Zeptepi, Egypt. Hidden within the holes of human memory are whispers of a time long past a realm beyond anything before. It is our heritage, our inheritance. It is coming alive again. As the Zeptepi energies stream into Gaia's field, there is an activation occurring within our human energetics. Our soul energy is weaving threads of light interconnecting with our original galactic soul clusters. We are forming etheric networks with our soul clusters in both the physical and spiritual realms. A unification is occurring as we prepare to return to our home star. The angelics are guardians of the galactic gateways and portals. They work closely with the lions of yore. These majestic lion people have been standing guard at the temples, time portals, and sacred sites since their arrival with the other root races in Zeptepi. In mythology, the lion is a symbol of strength, courage, dignity, and protection. In astrology, the Leo sun is the star power of our solar system. Leo is courageous, confident, creative, and bold. Leo the lion governs the heart. Ruled by the sun, Leo emphasizes the divine spark at the heart of our solar system. Leo activates the cosmic heartbeat within your heart center, the pulse of singularity, your heart's stargate to the quantum field. While Lion's Gate is open, an infusion of solar power emboldens leading from the heart. As you move through this ascension process, you are becoming the solar sun of your own reality. Your heart crystal is pulsing with soul super radiance as the central sun sourcing your light body. As Sirius rises with our sun on the horizon, the solar rays illuminate the path of enlightenment. You are walking the path of ascension with the galactic lions beside you, entering the hallways of time. All that was hidden is being revealed. As the veils dissolve, the radiance of the star-seated divine human awakens within. Lion's Gate is coming. From MegBenedict.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Devyani Singh From Isis Channelings Mary Magdalene, Feast Day, July 22nd Mary Magdalene is the living embodiment of the Divine Feminine that the sentinels of the goddess aspire to integrate and embody irrespective of their path and purpose as long as it is rooted in love and devotion. She has shepherded me in numerous client sessions and various avatars as the high priestess initiation into the rose lineage supported by the circle of twelve or as the high priestess of the crystalline Venusian temple of the blue rose wisdom which supports the lineage of the Lemurian priestess, the circle of twelve and twenty-two, or the high priestess of the sacred bloodlines that carry the DNA of the ancient lineage of feminine wisdom, or the high priestess, overseeing the resurrection of the soul purpose so that it may be aligned with its highest path of service, love, and devotion. As high priestess of Isis, 
She too embodies the very energies of Kundalini, sexual magic of resurrection, alchemy and healing. Like Isis, she too is the midwife channel, instrumental in the resurrection of the divine masculine and assisting him in reaching his highest potential, energy not gender, and so that together they may birth the divine child, the harbinger of the new light. Her story mirrors the very journey of the Divine Feminine on this planet. Just as the Goddess, the Divine Feminine was hunted, exiled, and forced to live in the shadows, she too has often been viewed from the same derogatory lens of perception down the ages, misjudged, maligned, feared, and vilified. She has, on certain occasions, appeared in an avatar that I have come to associate with the love best, that of the sacred prostitute. It is the avatar the patriarchy has gone to great lengths to condemn, assassinate and destroy, because as you've guessed, it's her most powerful avatar. It's the avatar of the sovereign priestess, sovereign as she belongs to none but herself. Her only loyalty is to love, devotion, and service, and the tool that she wields, Kundalini's sacred sexual energy is the very bridge that connects the mortal to the divine, soul to spirit, the very rainbow bridge that aligns us with soul healing, liberation, and freedom. At this moment of time, as the nodes change to Aries, Libra axis, karmic push to move into greater self-worth and true, authentic, creative self-expression, Aries energy and relationships from the shadow aspects of Libra, of self-sacrifice, in the name of people-pleasing and trauma bonding, under the penetrative gaze of Pluto, planet of death and rebirth, relationships, partnerships, are being put through the ringer. Add this to Venus, closely associated with Mary Magdalene, is going retrograde tomorrow, 23rd of July, which further brings up relationship patterns and distortions from the past that need to be healed or released. Many karmic contracts are going to end. Those that are fueled by patriarchal control, manipulation, and carry the excessive weight of expectations and entitlement to make way for sacred partnerships to evolve, those based on unconditional love, devotion, and service. And it is here that we can call upon the guidance of Mary Magdalene as the High Priestess of Sacred Union and Partnerships. For it is this very balance and union that is required for the resurrection of the new light of the new age. As we celebrate her today on her feast day, today, July 22nd, may she awaken within us the pure creative potential of the Divine Feminine that makes each moment a sacred moment of celebration, beauty, ritual, ceremony, initiation, self-mastery, freedom, and liberation. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. sa ke na from IsisChannelings.wordpress.com From Divine Angels of the Light, Order of the Star Mary Magdalene and the Celebration of the Divine Feminine Mary Magdalene is a beloved spiritual guide and a powerful, compassionate, and empowering Divine Mother for our times. She works closely with the angelic realms, the Magdalene Frequency, Sisterhood of the Rose, and Goddess Codes. Today, her light and love with her unwavering service to humanity are very active in service of humanity now. Mary Magdalene's wisdom and magic, her strength, energy, and peace provide a guiding light illuminating the path for humanity towards our awakening, spiritual transformation, and ascension. Mary Magdalene is a tower of strength and a pillar of peace, compassion, and divine feminine Christ consciousness and unconditional love. She is also honored for her role as a prominent figure in the early Christian movement. Her contribution reflects her devotion, spiritual adeptness, and the pivotal role she played, often hidden from the uninitiated. 
Mary Magdalene was a high priestess of the Rose and had deep knowledge of the goddess mystery teachings. Celebrating the feast day of St. Mary Magdalene, July 22nd, the sacred day also serves to honor and connect with the divine feminine Christ consciousness available within us all. It encourages us to embrace the qualities associated with this energy. Compassion, intuition, creativity, wisdom, and spiritual insight, as Mary Magdalene herself did. It is a day to honor not just Mary Magdalene, but also the divine feminine aspect in each one of us, reminding us of our own spiritual potential and power. In observing Mary Magdalene's feast day, we can consciously cultivate a deeper awareness and alignment with the Divine Feminine, nurturing our own spiritual growth, awakening, and ascension. As we honor Mary Magdalene, we also celebrate the often unacknowledged feminine aspects of the Divine. Light, love, happiness, mercy, wisdom, joy, serenity, understanding, strength, courage, faith, hope, and peace. We renew our commitment to integrate these divine feminine qualities into our lives and spiritual practices, to harmonize the divine masculine and divine feminine within us. Thus, Mary Magdalene's feast day is not only a celebration of her life and teachings, but also an opportunity to revere and connect with the divine feminine Christ consciousness and the sacred wisdom of the soul within. In today's world, where we stand at the precipice of a global shift in consciousness, Mary Magdalene's teachings take on a new significance. Magdalene is a very active divine feminine teacher within the Christ light stream, and she continues to serve and guide humanity through awakening and into the ascension process. The divine feminine Christ consciousness embodied by Mary Magdalene promotes healing, compassion, and the awareness of all aspects of our being. It speaks to the awakening of the heart and the embodiment of love, illuminating our paths towards spiritual enlightenment. The mystic rose is a teacher of compassion, humility, deep devotion, and the true grace that comes through embracing your organic feminine nature. Everywhere we look upon the path of the sacred feminine, there she is, as the most ancient flower loved by many. It is clear that the rose has a codex for us, and in order to receive her fully, we must open our hearts. The divine feminine Christ consciousness we observe and celebrate through the embodiment of Mary Magdalena is, from my perspective, a part of the divine feminine initiation stream whose energy is known by some as the Magdalens. The way of the rose alludes to the spiral path of the feminine, goddesses from across time, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene to Venus, Aphrodite, Sarasvati, Hathor, Isis, Ionia, and many, many more hold the essence of the rose, and in their own way they are teaching us something very profound. Trust the way. I see the Magdalens as being priestesses within the Divine Feminine Initiation Stream, a sacred circle of souls, with roots in the Essene, Daughters of the Rose Goddess. Individuals who feel a deep connection to the Divine Feminine Mysteries and the Divine Feminine Initiation Stream often hold a deep awareness and appreciation of the beauty of the mysteries of life and the sacred. Many Magdalens are initiates of the Divine Feminine Mysteries and Sisterhood of the Rose, present on the planet now, serving and awakening and aligning with the light of self-realization and higher consciousness available for all. Harmonizing the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine and raising awareness to embody soul, higher self, source within. You may also enjoy working with and reflecting on the symbol of the rose, an ancient symbol of the divine feminine mysteries. Mary Magdalene is much more than just a historical figure. She is an active embodiment of divine feminine power, a beacon of Christ light, 
and a powerful spiritual guide, ushering us all towards a higher level of awareness, remembrance, and embodiment of the truth. Across the lines of time, the teachings, stories, and living energy of the Magdalens and of Mary Magdalene serves as an illuminating force of light reminding us of the profound power of love, compassion, devotion, and spiritual awakening available to us all. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusul, the new earth vibration is that of balance, harmony, and one, within and without. Therefore life now becomes a balancing act through the power of omnipotent love. The full embracing of the deepest shadows within us, as well as fully embracing our highest light, being ignited from deep within as we fully embrace our divinity, the truth of who and what we in truth are at soul level. I came across this prayer a few years ago and it has been a guiding post for me ever since. Give me the strength to step out of the old things, so that I may be reborn totally pure, laying everything transient down. I ask for strength to dress in your eternal gown, May that which belongs to earth fall where it belongs, and may that which belongs in heaven be guided in finding its way home now. Heaven is indeed within us in oneness, unity, harmony with all that is, divinity within, from judithkusel.com. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Karen Lithica, Cycles of Light. For your light journey is a rhythmic dance of light cycles. Intricately designed as your eyes focus, mouth aligns to the internal vibrations of you. The pure mechanism of you is truly a miracle of light, encompassed within your physical light body. As you are destined to meet your soul family, know your physical body is a unique communication tool awaiting to commune with you. To know the entirety of you is the big question before you. To truly commune with your heart, your eyes, your fingers. To awaken to every part of communication within you. Layers and layers of light gently reaching you. For cellular whispers, the internal workings of your physical form is a communication stream of vibrational light information. Like the xylem and phloem of liquid and wood in a tree and the cellular communication is available. It is a vibrational communication of light, another layer of light construct to interpret and feel, another layer of light interpretation for vibrational observation, like an ancient clock, intricately made, a wonderful eye-inspiring piece of art. As you feel the impulse to learn more, know your physical form is calling you for deep cellular discussion. A unique internal dialogue is whispering to you, for your role of light can only be told by you. The path will continue to appear as you awaken to more parts of you. Trust in yourself, trust in the dialogue. Awaken to the internal light of you. As your heart continues to open in light, with love, Wayshower, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Tanya Gabriel. Beautiful Venus begins her lovely retrograde in passionate Leo today for the next six weeks until September 3rd. Every eight years, Venus visits the same area of your astrology chart. This Venus retrograde in Leo is significant. The last time occurred back in July 2015. Similar themes may be felt again now, but in a new way. At the exact moment Venus stations retrograde, she creates a gorgeous trine to the North Node. The North Node to Venus trine activates blessings for the future. Significantly, the North Node entered Aries at 29 degrees on July 17th after 18 years. So Venus's trine to the North Node places intimate partnerships front and center in a beautiful way. And Leo, sign of our creative life force energy, romance, passion, and fun, really brings that topic home. Over these next six weeks, make friends with your powerful, innate, creative self-expression, shine your light, 
relate in a fun, dynamic way to others, and step onto the stage of life. From TanyaGabrielle.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. The sun, the lens through which we shine our light, will be shining into sunny Leo at 9.50 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, July 22nd. For the next month until August 23rd, the focus will be on courage, creative self-expression, leadership, willpower, generosity, enthusiasm, playfulness, and childlike wonder. This is a time where we can really shine our inner light with confidence. It is a time to get in touch with your inner child and have some fun. Venus, ruler of the Divine Feminine, is turning to retrograde motion at 28 degrees of expressive Leo on Saturday, July 22nd at 9.33 p.m. Eastern Time. Venus rules love, partnerships, personal resources, finances, values, and self-worth. She rules happiness, pleasure, and power of attraction. She will move all the way back to 12 degrees of the sign of the lion before turning back to direct motion on September 3rd and remain in confident Leo until October 8th. While here, she is reevaluating her relationships with others and whether she is receiving the recognition and appreciation she deserves. She will reassess and revise situations involving money matters, and she will reflect on whether she is valuing herself regarding the circumstances that she participates in. Old friends and lovers from the past may make an appearance. This is usually to heal and bring a karmic situation to completion. If someone new does appear, it would be wise to contemplate whether it is a reflection of an old pattern that needs to be released. Venus desires harmony, whether it be with others or with herself. Spend the next few weeks contemplating if you have harmony in your life. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun and Cancer, opposite Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, and square the nodal axis. Mercury and Leo, trine Chiron and Aries. Eris stations retrograde in Aries. Jupiter and Taurus, semi-square Neptune, retrograde in Pisces. The skies are alight with astrological action. Eris insists we deal with our rage collectively and personally. Where does this anger come from, she asks, forcing reflection. She eyes the sun opposing Pluto, reminds us of how easy it is to blame everything else, everyone else, and of course, sometimes others are to blame. Bad people, bad authorities, systemic corruption, bad apples of all kinds, but now we stand at the crossroads with a choice in how to respond. Here is the power to create or destroy, to raise each other up or tear each other down. Meanwhile, Jupiter's connection to Neptune lures us with an escape plan, an inkling to avoid what needs to be done. Sometimes distraction helps, at other times it's just another trap. Mercury suggests we talk about what hurts, share our pain, storytelling for healing. Both Eris and Chiron know that we're stronger than we think. Be the light in the world that you yearn for. Hard times require good souls to be visible. The solar connection to Pluto and the nodes puts the spotlight on our karmic story. An urgent instruction to face the fear, own your shadow, take control where you can. Be proactive. Release toxic relationships and behaviors. Stand strong in the truth. Find your center to unlock creative power. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 170, White Magnetic Dog. Magnetic is the name for the number one and its keywords are unify, attract, and purpose. Today we begin a brand new wave spell and this one is a 13-day adventure with an agenda of love. The first day of a wave spell is about identifying the purpose and psychically setting yourself up for the journey. Try to contemplate what you would like to achieve during this period. Every wave spell is an opportunity to learn, 
grow and experience time on a different level. Unity is another key word associated with this number, and this represents that all of the days of the wave spell are united under one purpose. Today is White Dog, which represents love, loyalty, and heart. The message of the White Dog is, love what you do and put all your heart into it, and love your fellow humans too. Show everyone how big-hearted you can be. If you are a White Dog, you'll love this wave spell. This is a great time for getting things done with that doggy determination. Be stubborn about what you want. If you want to yield real results, loyalty is another key word for the dog, and this reminds us to think about our own loyalty issues. Who or what do you owe allegiance to? If, like a dog, you think with your heart, then you'll understand how important loyalty is. The guide today is also white dog, and so a double helping of this teaching. The first day of a wave spell is always guided by itself. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Christina, Papa Giorgio. White Magnetic Dog, 1 Oak, Keen 170, 22nd of July, 2023. Attracting Unconditional Love, 227-2023 equal 477 equal 414 equal 45 equal 9. Day codes 22, Architect of Peace, Master Builder, Four Form Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic, Nine Endings, Completion, Destiny, Mission, Humanity, Divinity, Month Year Codes, Seven Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation, Fourteen Media, Publicity, Promotion, Recognition, Five Freedom, Change, Transformation, Movement, Liberation, 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 2. Partner, Twin, Cooperation, Alliances. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection. Keen 170, Equal 8, Abundance, Flow, Infinity. The Architect of Peace has built a magnificent foundation to access the infinite flow of love, money, resources, and wisdom from Source, accessible through the magnetic center of our hearts. Keep raising your vibration and aligning with this infinite field of love to access all of your pure heart's desires during this wave spell. Today we are experiencing the return of heart-based consciousness on our planet. A beautiful beginning for our next chapter, uniting with our beloveds to build a new foundation through the power of love. Triple White Dog Day equal love, love, love. A beautiful new wave spell rediscovering unconditional love and our connection to Source and each other, leading into a brand new golden era of divine love. Absolutely perfecto as we head into a new galactic year, with this beautiful overlay of divine Source love for the entire year. Today we commence a brand new 13-day cycle, that of the White Dog. Day 1 in the White Dog Wave Spell of Unconditional Love, Loyalty, Devotion, Service, Friendship, and Faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from Source Love in order to be the full embodiment of love. Tone of Creation Magnetic is Tone number 1 in the Spiritual Realm as we initiate a new Wave Spell Cycle. Power Attracts, Action Unifies, Essence Purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with a magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one. From out of nothing here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. Once strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your mission. People, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. Today we are seeking to attract love and loyalty through expressing ourselves as pure Source love, to align with the unconditional love of Source, Father, Mother, God, Goddess, the attraction seeks to unify all as one. Thus magnetic kin have a very strong connection to Source, and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. 
The power of one is very strong today as it unites us all as one humanity. This will also be the theme for this wave spell, unification through the power of love. Get ready for full heart expansion. 4444 coming in of the 88 portal of Lionsgate, the Lyran nation of New Lemuria. As we all journey home together, we remember that we are all connected and all roads eventually lead back to source. Today's question is how can I attract endless source love, magnetizing this through my open heart, unconditionally, to unify us all through one heart. Divine blessings for the magnetic attraction of pure unconditional divine love, miracles and bliss bombs today. May Goddess bless you 1,000 ways in the coming days. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 170, White Magnetic Dog. The mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to love, attracting loyalty, I seal the process of heart. With the magnetic tone of purpose, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, one, 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 flowing in. Let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light Stephanie Pierce for your pledge and support on Patreon and Welcome to the tribe of the eagle and the condor. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light, Rugo Ratkai, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the eagle and the condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, Brian Pfeiffer, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Jacobson, for your purchase today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. You can purchase my Sacred Condors beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree to our beloved Mary Magdalene from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Raylene Brady. Remembering fondly my visits to Saint Maximin la Sainte-Bon. On this the feast day of Mary Magdalene, 22-7-2023, heralding in a month of spectacular opportunities for conscious remembering. Divine Woman with the Alabaster Jar. La Santa Bon, your final earthly journey, with a feast day venerated both near and afar. Sacred vessel, Titian here, falling untied. The womb, the Sangreal, and the crypt, final resting place. Your skull does lie. Sacred sacrament, his feet dripping in nard, fully cognizant of significance, together this union, dealt a truly divine card, the twelve 
doth protest of waste and spite, but your soul contracts were sealed as one, by both love and by right, and as the stone rolled back, the Rabboni, first sighted by you, arisen but not ascended, he did proclaim his state and truth, and to the Nazarene you extend your devoted hand. He proclaimed, No, I must first ascend, and transfigure beyond this frequency band. On this day, and all we venerate you, the Magdal Tower, remaining blessed by your divine glory, minute by minute, hour by hour, the kingdom he clearly revealed to you, Thirteenth Apostle, Lady of the Supper, Spouse and Mother of Sarah too, Raylene Brady. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred Mary Magdalene Day and every day where we venerate Divine Feminine Goddess Energies, Divine Mother, Cosmic Mother. As we continue our ascension journey through the sacred portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth, keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.